Hi there, I just wanted to uh, show a little bit more about the the interior cube mapping I'm doing on our, my windows and doors. Um, it's actually exterior cube mapping in my case. Um, in my game I've got a lot of um, yeah, doors and windows in these rooms uh, that look to other rooms or areas and each room is a separate stream of all levels so I don't want to have to uh, load or show the other the other rooms just so that you can see them through the window um, and the, the glass is going to be quite sort of blurry and reinforced looking anyway so um, it suits using a nice low res cube map um, so this guy you can see see there it, it works relatively well most people aren't playing the game aren't going to notice um, so let's have a look in the material and see what's going on there. Just hide one of those. Right, so it's an opaque material, no translucency, reasonably cheap, unlit. Um, I'm doing some, some trickery to, to sort of show uh, what looks like a, a frame on the other side of the glass um, and I I just manually position some lighting, fake lighting on it. Um, and I've got a switch here that I can just turn the glass off and stuff so I can see the cube map. And yeah, I've set it up so that it's about the right scale. So it looks like it's, you know, uh, it moves how it should when you're moving the camera. And if we have a look at the material, so the this is all the glass and everything, but the important part is is here. Oh, am I capturing the mouse? Hold on. Right, sorry, I've got the mouse turned on now. Um, oh, and I'll I'll show you the um, the area that I want to capture. So this is where you come from to get into the that corridor. Here, so I needed to capture from this spot. And so I just chucked a cube map reflection capture there and chucked the uh, depth of field right up so it's all blurry. So yeah, it, this is essentially taking a function that already already exists in UE4, um, interior cube map. Uh, it's taking a bit from that and modifying it a bit. So if you have a look. So this is the part that I needed. Um, I don't need this other stuff because that's making multiple like floors in a building. Um, all I needed was the, yeah, the, the UVs is here <coughs> and that's oh crap bugs um, this stuff that's the part from the function there so I added this uh, cube map direction and that allows me to um, flip the actually I'll do that in the instance it's a bit easier to see there so cube map direction. Right, so if I change that to one minus one, so now it's looking backwards at the door. I don't want that. Uh yeah, so we can we can flip it on the that axis, x axis. Flip it on the y. And yeah, that's that's important because um, by default the the reflection captures in UE4. I well, I can't find seem to find a way to rotate the way that they actually catch, capture the cube map. So to rotate it, I'd have to take it into an external tool and fudge it around. Um, but this allows me to rotate it in the material because um, obviously all my windows and things are going to be facing different directions. Um, the other things I added were 
Um, yeah, so we've got scaling, uh, cube map tiling and offset. Yeah, so that just changes the size of of the room basically. Um, so if we can stretch it out, so you can change that to suit how big the area was when you captured it, how high you want the ceiling and how low you want the floor depend uh, relative to the window. And you can also offset it and left or right, which is handy in, in this case because um, we, yeah, because we want it's not quite right in this because oh, I've just adjusted it, but um, yeah, you want it to to look right um, between the the two windows because they're both using the same cube map. If they were using the same offset. Um, yeah, it would look the same on both and look wrong. So, uh, so it's essential for that reason. But yeah, we, um, if I turn the glass back on, yeah, I think that's a fairly convincing effect, and I think it's going to um, save me a lot of time and uh, memory and performance and things uh, down the track. So it was worthwhile spending a little bit of time getting that that working. And I actually, for now anyway, I haven't bothered captured, uh, ca capturing new um, cube maps for all of the other windows yet. That's actually using the same same one. If you look carefully, it's um, I've just added some desaturation and colouring and stuff to sort of make it look like it's a um, a different room. And for a lot of windows, that'll probably actually work. You can just sort of use a generic cube map and um, just in you know, in cases like this, you probably need the color, and you know it'll be uh, scrutinized a bit closer. And yeah, that's that.